Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, Switzerland, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by JP Morgan, who is board member for the Utilities Regulation and Competition Authority, also known as IRCA, yeah, from the Bahamas. So, Mr. Morgan, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Well, it's good to be here. It's, um, I was here at the beginning in 2000, year 2000 for GSR. So it's well, this is, as I say, we're now GSR 2018, so uh, a few years later. I just want, I mean, this is what we're looking at here at yeah. new regulatory frontiers yeah. being the, the sort of the key phrase for this one. What, uh, what in your mind does that mean? You know, over the years, you know, we've been through this transition, eh, this great big um, technological transmission, uh, transition. It never seems to stop, does it? Um, we started with the liberalization of the, um, of the sector, the mobile sector, and this opened up all sorts of things. We've been through 2G, 3G, 4G. We're now looking at 5G. We're looking at all sorts of new technologies that these will spawn. And I think with each change, um, the technology has not been, um, has been challenging us. Um, it's not it's not stopping at all. It's um, it's really um, on a relentless path, and um, I think the challenge that we face is how do we as regulators, how do we as a society, um, keep pace with these changes, and how do we use these technological advances for good? Um, I think this is where you know over the years the GSR has really been very useful. I keep telling my colleagues that um, the GSR is the only forum I need to attend because I get a, it's the one time that I get a forward look once a year in terms of what's likely to happen. And that's, um, I, 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 I think that the, we will have to, we will have to recognize that um, the change will continue and you know, investments will have to take place and um, new technologies are going to bring new products and new ways of life and um, new impacts on how we think and how we do business. And so how, in your opinion, do you think we can work together to achieve new sustainable investment models, for example? It perhaps is the most distressing question, I think, because um, let's face it, um, in the days of the multinationals, um, or the multilaterals rather, the World Banks and you know these sorts of things. We thought we had the formula, didn't we? Um, those were the days when the governments owned these infrastructure companies, and that was the model. Um, with privatization, the multi um, multilaterals sort of stripped away, fell away. They had their own financing houses and so on. Um, it has become increasingly difficult, I think, to. Um, attract investment that's sustainable because of the inherent risk associated with technology advances. Um, so underpinning that, I think the regulatory frameworks, the legal frameworks have to try to lend this, to has, have to try to mitigate, mitigate moderate these risks, <coughs> excuse me, to enable um, what I would call the non-conventional investors to um, to you know, to look at this sector, and um, to perhaps um, at the same time we have to think of new ways, more innovative ways. In fact, in fact, um, you know, I was thinking about it the other day, where um, you know the investments that go into submarine cables, for instance, the the the, the, the companies, the telcos, no longer invest in these companies. Um, it's the content providers who, who invest in these companies. So that's probably sustainable. I suspect it will be because, you know, they, um, they will be around for a long time, so long as there's content and, and there's, there's a growing need. a lot in it for them, obviously, Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And um, so that's one mechanism as the, <coughs> as the requirements that are, that are placed on the infrastructure sh changes from voice to data to content then I believe the purveyors of, of, um, of, 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 of these products and services will f have to find themselves invested in, in, these, um, in, in, in these technologies to deliver the services and that, that they require. How they fund it, well, um, I don't want to call any names, but they're all awash out there with um, all awash with cash. But it doesn't, <coughs> I think, detract from the, um, from the view that I have that um, 
you know, hedge funds, um, <coughs> trust funds, um, all of these, I think, are areas which we will have to explore to see if we might be able to um, create the kind of risk profile for the industry that will allow these kinds of investments to, um, you know, to, to, to take place in the sector. We were talking, <coughs> excuse me, some examples of collaboration um, in, in terms of mechanisms for sustainable investment in, in infrastructure. What about keeping up to speed? What about the technology changing so fast that it's very <coughs> difficult to regulate, that it's very difficult to know what's coming next and to be able to regulate for that? What, how can one mitigate that? The regulator, the government, <coughs> excuse me, where it starts. Um, have to recognize that they will never be able to keep pace. So the laws, the regulations, all of these instruments that are there to um, protect society, to protect individuals, have to, um, have, to, have to have the ability to change themselves fairly quickly. Um, because, you know, the technology isn't going to wait. And so um, we as regulators, and since we are in this forum, um, have to recognize that the lighter the regulation, the better it shall be, um, or the better it will be, um, the lighter the regulation. And in fact, I <coughs> keep telling my staff, for instance, that you know, if the day comes that we find that we are an, inhibit an inhibitor to investment, then we're not doing our jobs. And it really means lighter touch regulation, perhaps um, you we place ourselves in a situation where we look at outcomes more so than trying to put pressure on you know on these investors to do so and so do so they'll do it because it's a highly competitive industry so we need to like i said just create that framework where risk is i can't say low but risk is lowered or at least and can be anticipated and the certainty that they need that the market will be there um, is something that we as regulators can try to promote and stimulate. And coming back closer to home, <coughs> what's the uh, landscape like in terms of AI and IoT in the Bahamas? Um, still, a still, a still along, still a little way away. Um, I was talking to my colleagues yesterday after that session yesterday and uh, we were saying, you know, for the first time, um, and I've been in, the, in this business, this industry for a while, I said for the first time, I was actually frightened or scared because um, the possibilities of what AI brings and the possibility that these machines could one day um, be so intelligent that they're so intelligent that they just grow, don't they? They just feed on themselves by developing their own software, for instance, as they, as they grow. I'm actually frightened that we, um, how should I put it, that if we are not prepared for it as a society, then uh, we could misuse AI um, f and actually use it for the wrong reasons. And then, of course, along comes the problems with um, cyber protection and cyber crimes and this sort of thing, which is something I think which will then start to loom as a major issue for us in the next period um, of the technology development. So it's exciting times, but um, <laughs> we can't afford to trade slowly, but we have to tread carefully. Um, in the old days, you say, make haste slowly, and I think this is what I would suggest. <laughs> <laughs> well, th th thank you very much mm. for joining us in the studio mm. today. We're, we wish you the very best, obviously, with uh, this uh, making haste slowly uh, future <laughs> that we have ahead of us, and, uh, mm. and we hope very much to catch up with you again sometime in the near future. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank okay, you very Thanks much very indeed. much indeed. Yeah, thank That's you. Very